Hi, this is Chinmay from Bricks Ultimate. In this video, we shall learn how we can create the custom thank you page in Bricks. <coughs> so, first, we will go to the Bricks template page and click on the add new button. Here, I already create a thank you page. So, we are going to that page. You will put the title of the template. Then select the WooCommerce thank you template options and publish the template. Next, hit on the edit brief with the brief button and launch the Bricks editor. Okay, here I designed a thank you page. I added a section full with sections. Under the sections, I added a two column container. So left column, I added the heading tag and enter my heading. Second is another heading tag and put the hello, the dynamic tag with view cast billing first name. This dynamic tag is coming from the Bix Ultimate add-on. Next, I added a brief basics text element and you can enter your descriptions here. Next, I added a order details hiding text so you can show your order number here i use the native bricks order number bricks ultimate has another element for this so you can use that dynamic tag also if it is not work next we added the name the view cast billing first name view cast billing last name Next, I added the pub order date, order published date when the order is submitted or completed. So, this is the order date. Next, we added the address sections. Here is the basic text and put some dynamic tags. These all tags are coming from the Bricks Ultimate add on. The address on CT states can uh, postcode, and you can add more like phone number zip code etc and the left side right side sorry and the right column i build a custom order items table so here is a block element i created a heading tag item quantity and price item quantity and price with the flexbox css next i added another block element and enable the loop option under the loop options i set the ultimate query loop options you should enable the ultimate query under the mix tabs This is the ultimate Google query builder so you will enable it and you will get the custom order items customer order items loop builder type select that and here you will enter your order number who order id is a dynamic tag so loop is configured now we shall create the items name here i use my view image element attachment image element now it is supporting the order id before it was not working you will get this compatibility things in the next version here i use the view image attachment and set up the resolutions image aspect ratio light box if you want to light box effects then you can enable it otherwise you can avoid these settings then i set the outer container selector outer container selector x it means sorry
the column container this one I put here this is just for the light box gallery slider effect otherwise you can this, uh, you can avoid these settings okay next we can add the image another way like basic text here we should use the dynamic tag a featured image here you can see the order image item image if you use this dynamic tag it also generates the feature image tag for the items so we can also use the dynamic tag also next i added the heading tag and showing the product title here is the view order item name this is coming from the bricks ultimate add-on view order item name this gives the order item name next i added this queue <coughs> it is introduced the new dynamic tag which is released in the next version means 1.6.5 it will push the update soon so you will get this next i added the another dynamic tag for the variable product where you can show your variable I uh, variations in the list format view order item variable attributes it will show your attributes like color equal to red size equal to xml this sources name will be shown here there is another dynamic tag let's put it here you can show your custom field data also here order item custom data if your product had any custom data using the ACF plugin or any other third party custom field plugin so you can show that data also here you should put the view order item custom data next you will enter the clone here you will add your custom field name like i did not like so i am putting just skew this is the another inbuilt custom field for the word uh, for the woocommerce so here you will enter your own custom field na uh, name here so you will automatically get the custom field data and show on your thank you page this dynamic tag also coming under the 1.6.5 versions next i added the order item quantity dynamic tag then added the price view order item price next i added a deep or block here i am showing the discount level is discount and adding the price view coupon discount am uh, amount this is the dynamic tag view coupon discount amount this will show your discount value here I added the conditional element options so has discount is true so this D will show if a order had a discount or not this dynamic tag also this conditional tag is also coming from the bricks ultimate here I added the another D like shipping cost for the shipping cost here i also added the conditional element like has shipping cost equal to true if it is true then your shipping cost will show same way i added the label there is the label and use the dynamic tag view cost order shipping cost next i added the total row here is the total deep level is total and put the two order total dynamic 
tag so this way we can build the a custom thank you page on this builder now we can see the preview how it is working we should go to the orders here is the order receiver so we can check the preview look here is the shipping cost has not discount so it is not showing the discount just showing the shipping cost here is the SKU you can also add your custom field data also if you want this is the product image I added the light box and this is the gallery effects so this way you can introduce next here is the variable products it is a variable product so you can see the variables attributes color green science medium and we should show the discount part this part is here here you can see the discount section with this way so very easily you can make your custom thank you page layout with big builder editor and it is totally flexible and you can endless design so if you find that there is something of missing or anything you can come to me and share your ideas i shall implement as a dynamic tag or as an element for your thank you page thank you